Hello gamers, this is Eden sharing light with you always and every day. I'm really happy to announce that our league was ex a huge blast. Light one of the game was just amazing because we had like so many players like everywhere. We had like three or four spectators every time someone was playing the match. So it was a really huge success and this is the game one of it and you know as I've already told you that this league is actually gonna last quite a long time because we are not really pros we don't have that much time but how well like you know we try to make a difference among friends and everyone in Facebook so yeah this is game one of the league or tournament whatever you wanna call it so let's just jump into the game so the map is Discord 4 and the game is Beast McCoy versus Mr. Stormy. So it is gonna be a ZVT. Um, Mr. Stormy being on the left, right, sorry, right hand side of the lower map, whereas um, Beast McCoy is on the top left. So this is more of a macro game, if you tell me, because the. Cr it's all the way up here and coming down going on top of the high ground here then coming down and then all the way around Mr. Stormy's base and then going up the ramp the creep won't really be as effective because he won't have that much chance to actually spend the creep but how well like he is going for the he is going probably for the creep in a bit but for s some weird reason some of his workers have different colors. Don't know how that's possible, but hey, same with Stormy's case. Um, it's probably a glitch or something, but I don't know. Yeah, so Stormy's starting with a real, just a normal uh, Terran tactic. Um, he put up a barracks at. 13 which is not that bad but if like it was some other players um, they do prefer to like start it really early so that they can get that fast uh, marine here the here mr. stormy's um, SCV do see that overlord and he might be wondering um, where it's going but then hey it's just there so obviously it's pretty obvious so mr. stormy's um, SAV do see that spawning pole so he does have an idea what um, he might be expecting some early zerglings not that many but early he doesn't see any gas so it indicates that he's not really going for that metabolic boost uh, of the zerglings but um, he doesn't really see his second base Beast McCoy's second base which is really bad because a Zerg player with the second bag base, sorry, is really really powerful and it is a super tactic because it's had it has been used a lot of time in the last few games that I've watched and yeah it just brings out your zerglings. I mean if you want to go for a zergling rush it the second base gives you that extra uh, larvae but if you still want to go for something else it's just really superb. Um, on the other hand, Mr. Stormy has some really well well placed um, supply depots. Um, he tries a supply depot there just to. I think he was trying to block it, but how well I am, it might he might not be blocking it. But his supply depot do give a vision around this place, so he knows that what um, he's gonna deal up against. So at this point, uh, Mr. Stormy do see those uh, Zerglings taking up the position, leaving his base. So he does have an idea that he might be dealing up with some Zerglings on his way. And Mr. Stormy, on the other hand, does go for an attack. Um, well, not in that, just to secure the Zelnaga Tower. Um, and yeah, it's like cleaning the butter in a na hot knife or something. Um, Mr. Stormy really clears those Zerglings away. On the other hand, Mr. Storm is still uh, scouting, and but at this point, um, Beast McCoy doesn't have much scouting information at all. He does have that Overlord on top, which is 
in a way it's really good cuz he does he have already he already has an idea of the the two gas he might think that you know he might go for an um some form of air unit but uh we know that he's not going uh, any air cuz if he goes so mass circlings i reckon ter like mass marines will be a good tactic cuz if he goes marauders it's just real it's just a waste cuz um, marauders are just so bad against um, zerglings. We see that Mr. Stormy puts up a factory, which is um, in this map. It's really important because after seeing that Miss McCoy is going zerglings, and I and that, but even though he doesn't see his gas, I think Mr. Stormy can have an idea that he might go like um, mass speedlings or something. So um, he does get his factory up in a second and I think he will be making hellions because they're just so good against zerglings. They just basically burn everything up on their way. So yeah, the spine crawler on base because is really a good um, investment because um, most people think that it's just a waste of money but I seriously think that it's really good. On the other hand, Mr. Stormy does come and attack. He is just wiping out the overlords and the supply just goes down. And at this point, Mr. S uh, Beast McCoy doesn't really have anything to defend apart from those zerglings over there. Um, he, he doesn't have, he own and that spine color. So it's really bad. It's, things are looking really bad for um, Beast McCoy. Only if he had the Roach Warren up. Um, he is. He was getting the Baneling nest, but I don't think he will be able to complete it and make the Banelings on time. So, um, yeah, Beast McCoy is in a really bad situation now. Even though he doesn't have any units to defend himself, apart from the Queens and the Spine Crawlers, um, I reckon he seriously need to get some Banelings as fast as he can, because. Um, he actually has a lot of minerals. He's not using them properly, and he doesn't have that enough overlord, um, enough overlords, because most of his overlords was killed there. Um, again, we see that beast um, story. Mr. Stormy is moving up with his uh, marauders and marines. I don't know why he's getting marauders, because it seriously is a waste of time. But I think um, Stormy didn't see his baneling nest at all, so. Marauders are really good against Banelings in a way because um, you can use your Marauders to just take the damage that the Banelings cause. But uh, if it's a Marine, it's just seriously, seriously a waste because Banelings are just so good against Marines. One Baneling can ki kill like three or four or like five Marines if, I, if I'm right. So yeah, I mean, I think Beast McCoy at this point is trying to like position his Banelings. Um, Whereas Mr. Stormy is just gathering troops in the Zell Naga Tower. He has been holding that Zell Naga Tower for a bit. Uh, so has Beast McCoy with his two Zerglings. They do see some, um, they do see like half of, half of the base, but he doesn't have any clue that, um, Stormy might be there. So yeah, I mean, Beast McCoy is moving up with his Zerglings just to scout it, but as I already told that he's gonna die. Um, but at this point, Beast McCoy is actually getting a lot of minerals. He's not using them properly. He's not actually using them in a good micro. He's going for that, um, those attacks. Well, um, the Evo chambers. Um, but I don't reckon the upgrades is gonna help him anyways. I reckon he really should get a Roach Warren, but hey, it's their game and they're gonna play it however they want. So, yeah, I mean... If he had, I reckon he like, he has a lot of minerals and gas. He should definitely go more banelings if he can. But um, he is going a sec, a third hatchery, not a third base, not a third mineral base, just a third hatchery, just to get his extra larvae count. Um, at this point, Stormy has a lot of hellions and. A medivac, which is really good, because the medivacs will probably just heal everything up. They do have the stim packs, and Stormy, I think, is preparing for a drop, uh, which should be really interesting, because 
in this part of the base he has nothing defended, defending it though his overlord will be able to see it but still he has nothing really defending this base um, apart from those infestors um, 